Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PostgreSQL 16.2 and PG Admin on Ubuntu 22.04. Open terminal, verify whether do we have PostgreSQL or not. sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL. See, we don't have the service with PostgreSQL. Okay, so to install it, open Firefox go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org See here at the time of making this video the latest version is PostgreSQL 16.2 Click on, click on download, click on Linux then select Ubuntu See here PostgreSQL supports on 24.04, 23.10, 22.04 and 20.04 LDS versions. Okay. So, scroll down. See, now we have to manually configure the APT repository by following these steps. So, copy the first one that is installing curl. Paste it. Hit enter. I have already installed curl. After curl installation, we have to run this one. Copy it. Paste it. Hit enter. Then, copy this is paste it hit enter it is done now create the repository by copying this one copy this one go there hit enter now update the packages sudo apt update it's okay now control l to create screen Install PostgreSQL 16. Paste it. See, if you don't give any version number, it will install the latest version that is 16.2. If you want to install 15, you have to give hyphen 15. Okay. Then hit enter. See, it is installing PostgreSQL 16.2. See here default connections are 100 and default shared buffer 128. See it is showing all the properties. See we have successfully installed PostgreSQL 16.2. Let's see whether PostgreSQL service is started or not. Okay, so we have successfully installed PostgreSQL server. Control L to clear screen sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL. See PostgreSQL service is running and is and it is enabled. Okay, no need to worry about it. Control L. Now connect to PostgreSQL server, sudo su-postgres, psql, see this is the server version, let us verify the version, select version, see we have installed PostgreSQL server 16.2, q to quit, control l to clear, after connecting we have to set the password for the super user, that is postgres, forward slash du, see we have only one user, that is the postgres, and it is super user it has all the privileges okay so we have to set password by using alter user postgres with password give any password that you like it see you have successfully set the password okay so next step is we, if you want to see the list of the databases give the forward slash l see these are the default databases comes with postgresql if you want to create a user create user This is the syntax. Then provide the password. See, you have successfully created. Let us verify. See, we have two users now. This is the super user, and this is the user which we have created by us. Okay. Now we will see how to create databases. Create database R2 schools. Name can be anything. Now verify. See, new database is there. Q to quit. Let's switch to this database and create some tables. Forward slash C or forward slash connect. Both are same. Connect. Then give the 
database name. See, we have switched to artist scores. Let, let us verify the list of the tables in this database. See, we don't have any tables. So let's create a table. Create table. Put semicolon. Okay, we have successfully created. See, there is one relation or table. Okay, so insert some data into this table. Insert into student. Insert one more row. Let us verify data. Select star from student we have successfully inserted until now we have seen how to install and connect to PostgreSQL on Ubuntu 22.04 next let us install the PG admin that is the GUI tool for PostgreSQL okay go to new tab PG admin go to PG admin dot org hit enter click on download or scroll down click on download both are same click on download click on apt c apt is for debian operating systems click on it select here also we have to run these commands one by one copy one copy this copy go exit control l exit paste it is done Next, create the repository configuration file. Same copy. See, it is going to update the packages also. So, paste it. Copy it. Paste it. Hit enter. It is done. Next, see here we have the two types of installation modes, desktop and web mode. If you want only desktop mode, you have to run this one. If you want both desktop and web mode, you have to run this one. If you want only desktop, you have to run this one. If you want only web mode, you have to run this one. So I want to install both the modes, copy it, go there, paste it, hit enter. Type I for confirmation and hit enter. Before that, see whether we have the PG admin or not. PG admin. See, we don't have the PG admin. Okay. See, we have successfully installed PG admin. Now, click on show applications. Search for PG admin. PG. See, we have the PG admin. Click on it. See, it is opening. Click on add new server or right click on servers then register then select server then give the name I am giving local connection see I have process equal on local host so I am giving local host or simply you can give the IP also and port number is 5432 see this is the maintenance database and this is the username provide the password of this user which we have set click on save expand this one expand it see we have see we have created database auto scores let me show you see we have the auto scores database let me create another database create database test esql it end now right click on databases and refresh see new database is there even you can create database from here also click on right click on databases select create then database then provide the database name. I am giving database name as test pg admin. Click on save. See database is there. Now if you go to here and if you give the same forward slash l see new database test pg admin is there. Okay. So you took it the other ways minimize it. Next to configure connect to web mode exit this one exit then give this sudo this one. See I have copied this script. Okay. This is optional. You can give any mail. Yeah. 
is C. This is the link to connect to web console. Copy it, new tab, paste it, paste it, hit enter. Then provide the email that we have given. Email at the rate gmail. Then click on login. Don't save. Expand servers. See, we don't have servers. So click on add new server or right click on servers. Then click on server. It is the same. Localhost. Web localhost. Connection localhost only. You can give IP also. And username is Postgres. Provide the password. Click on save. Not now. Expand it. Expand it. See, we have the same databases. Okay. If you want to run queries against this one, right click on databases, select query tool. Here we can create the or execute the queries. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to install PostgreSQL 16.2 on Ubuntu machine. Then we have seen how to install the pgadmin4 on Ubuntu machine. Then we have seen how to connect to PostgreSQL from the pgadmin. For more PostgreSQL or Ubuntu tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.